Hello from Conjointly. Let's talk about Generic Conjoint Test. This test can help you select product features, packaging and claims, and discover marginal willingness to pay for specific features. In this video, we'll show you how to use Generic Conjoint Test in three steps, starting with the setup. Imagine you want to find optimal features for a new variety of moisturizers. A moisturizer may be described in terms of attributes such as bottle shape, flavor, name, and price. Each of these attributes is broken down into levels. For instance, levels for the attribute for bottle shape might be S-shape, rectangle, bell shape, U-shape, etc. You can start by specifying the attributes and levels that you would like to test in the experiment, including claims, features, price levels, and pack shot images. Multiple levels of text and images can be easily added with Excel spreadsheets and many other formats. Conjointly allows you to customize respondent interface, select your own audience or source panel respondents from us, advanced settings such as prohibitions, set up redirects, run the survey in multiple languages, and insert other question types. Second, respondent interface. Rather than merely asking what respondents like in a product or what features they find most important, we give respondents the choice of several SKUs as well as a none of the above option. Each SKU is comprised of a combination of the features and prices you specify in the setup. Each respondent will be shown approximately a dozen screens with different carefully assembled SKUs to choose from. From respondents' choices, we build their individual preference profiles in relation to specific features. Third, outputs. Conjointly offers several key outputs of generic conjoint. Relative importance by attributes shows how important each attribute is relative to the other attributes in customers' decision-making process. In this example, prices are considered as the most important attribute. You can switch on confidence intervals to see if these differences are statistically significant. Relative value by level shows the relative performance of specific levels within each attribute. For example, within the attribute of flavor, fragrance-free performs better than the others. This output can help you select most preferred features, packs, logos, and claims. Marginal willingness to pay can be viewed as a monetary representation of the chart above. It shows amounts of price decreases that are equivalent to upgrades and features. For example, relative to the baseline of S-shape, an upgrade to bell shape is equivalent to a price decrease of 61 cents. This output is only available if price is included in the test and if consumers prefer lower prices, as is the case in most markets. Ranked list of product concepts shows different combinations of features ordered by customer's preference. Share of preference simulation offers what-if market scenarios and gets estimates of preference share for different SKUs. If you want to learn more about how to use Simulator, click on the link below. Conjointly reports are segmentable by consumer characteristics, such as information provided from panel profiling, what they say in response to additional questions, screening questions, and variables that you upload. Raw outputs in Excel, including preferences of individual respondents for the different levels, can be directly exported. Thank you for watching. Feel free to contact us for a chat about selecting claims, packaging, and other features for your product.